I was gonna make a video about this thing. It was gonna be great. It was gonna be huge, I swear. But then the corona hits. But I, I, I'm lazy too. It's all Corona's fault, I swear. Don't at me, don't at Shut me, bro. Shut your bitch ass up! Retail is one of those things where you just gotta accept that sometimes it's terrible. Not because you did anything wrong or because anything you can control, but because of Karen. Yeah, Karens. You know, the people that come into the store with an iPhone they bought a week ago and they broke it in half, and then they're trying to return it because it's still within the return policy, and you explain to them that it has to still be in one piece. Uh, you know, the people that try to return something three months out of policy, you know, those people, those people that make our lives a living hell. So I'm just trying to air my grievances a bit because with this Corona, they've been getting fucking bold these days and they ain't staying home not one bit. Now, now, I'm not saying retail employees can't mess up or that we do no wrong or anything like that. Everyone makes mistakes, but dear God, y'all motherfuckers got no chills sometimes. I'll be dividing Karens into different categories based on the sheer audacity of these bitches. Because one Karen is not like the other, and they got different subclasses and shit. So God help you if you encounter a prestige class Karen. You may as well quit your fucking job at that point, I'ma be honest with you. The lowest ranking Karen and easiest one to evade is the phone Karen. These Karens don't talk shit to your face. They'll leave the store, head all the way home, sit down, pull up Google, search up your store's phone number, then navigate the phone tree incorrectly until they get a person to vomit their grievances upon. They don't want a solution, they want to be angry. They don't want you to do anything for them, but to just feel the suffering and pain that they want to inflict upon your soul. You tell them, this isn't the right department, man. If you don't mind, I'll not chance for you over. That's when they interrupt you and then they go, I do my motherfucker if I swear to God, if you put me out of fucking hold, I've been waiting 30 minutes. I've been waiting three hours to talk to a real person. God damn it. Who the fuck is slicker through that? I kill your fucking feel. Uh, but ma'am, your, your, your issue just isn't in my department, but I, I'd love to help you out and, uh... But nothing! I wanna speak to your fucking manager! I, I can, like, go get him. I just need to put you on a brief sold or side. I'm not going on fucking hold. How many times I have to tell you, you stupid fucking... This is when the retail employee has two options. You either put them on a hold, transfer them, grip the nearest unfortunate manager whose soul has already been crushed twice today, and you force him onto the phone because her warpath is unending, unyielding in every regard. The blood sacrificed to her via the manager will quench her thirst for the moment. Or you just fucking hang up on them. I'm not gonna tell you the right answer. I'm just saying, you talk crazy to somebody on the phone in the wrong department, wrong store, maybe even the wrong fucking seat. Maybe you should calm down so we can fucking do our job and help you before you get hung up on, you stupid bitch. The second Karen on the list, not the most powerful, but probably the most frustrating, the you're lucky that I'm nice and patient, Karen. They say to you as they attempt to return a seal iPhone 8 Plus they bought for their son, who got bad grades three years ago. So they hid it from him and then they forgot where they put it. Then they wanted to give it to him in 2020, but the iPhone 12 release is right around the corner. So now their spoiled child is upset and wants at least an iPhone XR. So now they're in your store trying to do an out of policy return and she crushed the soul of one of the managers for the second time that day. Hey, so now that manager is like, fuck it, whatever, we're just gonna fucking do the return for her. So now you're trying to do this weird ass return with three gift cards, one store credit, but the system isn't taking it. So you gotta call corporate and then they say, hey, you gotta wait 24 hours for an update on the system because as it just hasn't posted yet. And it's supposed to uh, do the return in place of the exchange. And five hours later. So hours at this point have passed and basically Karen implies that you're retarded and incompetent. Your manager and coworkers are trying to help but the shit is a whole mess and they don't want any part of this shit at all. Not even a little bit. And eventually, eventually everything works out. 
And that's when she sits down and she looks you in your eyes and is like, That was the worst experience I've ever had shopping here. I'm never coming here again. The wait time was atrocious. And you're like, oh, thank God. This is fucking great. Except she comes back next week to do the exact same thing. But this time the iPhone box is open and the iPhone inside of it is broken in half. And then she tells this elaborate lie to your manager where she basically boils it down to. I did this exact same return last week and it went by just fine. Took like five seconds. And then the cycle begins again. Ah, the very next Karen. This is the one where videos on Twitter and YouTube highlight their beautiful, beautiful moments. And I just want to add that Karens aren't all limited to just white women. Karens come in all shapes and sizes and colors and genders, all that great stuff. This is the Karen type that says they'll kick your ass even if they're, uh, you know, built like a beanbag chair. The type of Karen that starts yelling at you for not giving them shit for free, even though, you know, you're at fucking work and that's not how things go. You say to them, you can't do such a thing because their return is three months out of policy and you tell them there's a restocking fee or you're just trying to do your job within their vicinity and they'll get into your ass immediately with no loop, not even spit. Managers try to appease them with discount store credits, and it always ends the same. They always hit them with a nah, nigga, nah, 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 nah. I want that brand new 70 inch 4K television for free. I don't know what crack you smoking, but I'ma get what I want for free. But, like, you, you dropped your TV, ma'am. Uh, I can't just uh, fucking take this return. And you also didn't bring it back with a box, and there's no remote. It, it's cracked in half. I, I'm pretty sure we don't even have all the pieces. The fucking packaging was unclear. What kind of customer service is this? How is it my fault that I dropped it? Motherfucker, I already spent $2,000 in your fucking store. I've been a customer here for 15 years. So you're gonna give me another 70 inch 4K television or I'll shut my head up your ass and then pull out your entrail and beat you with them, motherfucker. And it always ends in a few different ways, escorted out via police or they leave at the threat of police. They quote unquote settle for a discount on store credit or they just tell you they shopped here for 10 generations of their family and they'll never shop here again because you're just so bad at your job. And finally, we have a subcategory of all Karens. The Karen that's just cartoonishly racist in ways that just confuse and baffle people. Like, even if you're racist, you're trying to get someone to do what you want, yet you insult them on a fundamental level on their background and heritage or the group of people they're associated with. And you're gonna be like, oh, by the way. Help me, help me, nigga. Like, how is that surprising? You fucking struggling dad. Of course they're not gonna fucking help you, you fucking dumbass. Like, like yo, come on. Come on now.